Hello, I'm Jim from Kent Butcher Supply. And if you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you have purchased a B Pro scale. And the B Pro scale comes with software that you can use to install and download PLUs and ingredient text and make label formats. <clears throat> and I'm going to do some tutorials about how to do those things. This one today is about how to install the software onto your scale. And so I would like to uh, go through the steps and process with you. As you can see here, I'm going to my desktop and I am going to first get this out of the way. <clears throat> and then uh, if we go to uh, the software would be provided to you either on a disk a CD or probably on a memory stick. Now mine is located here on this B Pro Burn. And so if I open this file up, I have the B Soft American version uh, S130. That's the installer. So we're going to go ahead and click on that, double click on it, and we're going to allow it. <laughs> and it will begin doing its installation and um, it's going to create an icon down here sometimes you have to click on this icon in order to advance through the steps sometimes it just automatically will go through it as well as in this case it has uh, so when you get here we're going to install it on our c drive under metler toledo under bsoft software and so we're just going to go next 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 and then install and uh, this will take a couple of minutes to install it'll start out kind of slow then it'll go really fast and finish up uh, but i think you'll find that this is a very beneficial software for working with your scale and giving you a lot of advantages with uh, using uh, the b pro scale so as we uh, wait a few minutes here for this to do its install, there we go. And uh, there we go quickly, as I had said. And then it will finish up and we'll just click done. And once it's installed, what it will do is give you uh, several new icons on your desktop. And those will be the two red ones here and this green one down here. Now, depending on your computer, they'll load in different places. Um, the red ones we can access through the green one here that says B Pro English. So we can put those two in the recycle bin if we wish. Save a little room on our desktop. Now, if we go ahead and click on the um, B Pro EN for English, it will open up. We have to allow it from Microsoft. We don't require a password. You can just click OK to move on. This is kind of your home screen of the BSoft software. But in order to set it up, we first have to go down to the little drop down arrow down here and click there. And uh, you'll have to move down till you get to communications here. And open that. We want to go to the scale address configuration. And double click on that. We have nothing configured, so we have to configure a scale. And if you have multiple scales, you'll have multiple creations here. So we're going to first select the drop down arrow here. The US version of the B Pro scale is this one here, which is called the B Pro T2B. So we want to click on that. And then we want to go up here and give us our scale, a scale number. We're just going to select that this is our first scale, scale number one. And we're going to call this just the meat scale. And we're going to give it an IP address here. And we're going to use 192.168.1.42, which is a very common address that we use 
than when we initially set them up, but your network may vary. The port should always be at 3001. And then you say, okay, and you have to say, okay, you can't just close this one. And now we have set the software up and uh, in order to get it to communicate with the scale, we have to go into our set settings in our control panel. So we're going to get here to our start panel or start button. We're going to hit control panel. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to go to our network and sharing center over here. Yours may say network and ethernet. Then we're looking for the ones that says a change adapter settings. Some of them will say change adapter options. You want to click there. And you're going to look for your ethernet. If you have Wi-Fi over here, you're going to want to probably go there and uh, click on disable in order right here in order to turn that off so there's not a conflict. Uh, I'm not going to do that because that will stop this video. Uh, so we want to go over here to our ethernet and right click there and go down to properties. That's going to open up this window here and we're going to look on this menu for the internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 and we're going to click there and go to those properties. It's normally going to have most of your computers will say obtain an IP automatically right here so it'll look like this. We want to change it to use the following IP address and the IP that we use is similar to the one that we put in for the scale but slightly different so we're going to use 192.168.1.40 as opposed to 42. Then we're going to click here on subnet mask it will fill this out automatically and we want to say OK. Again, don't just close this window. You have to say OK to accept the changes. And then you can close out of all of these windows and close out of here. Then you should be able to go down here on the software to network status. And if you are set up properly, you'll see that that red X will go away and your two scales will show there, which says that you are communicating to your scale. And that really completes your setup. Then we can uh, continue on with uh, adding PLUs and ingredients and label formatting and making changes of those natures. So if you have any further questions on this process, you can call us at 1-800-632-1983. Again, that's 1-800-632-1983. And thank you for watching.